fairly confident they're just itching to get up into the lake. For the first time in over 50 years, sockeye salmon returning to the South Okanagan will have a path through to Okanagan Lake. When the dam was built, this fishway has always been here, um, but the fish never made it this far. They only made it to McIntyre Dam and Oliver. So this fishway has never been used, so all they're doing is just putting these little jumps in. To get to Okanagan Lake, the salmon have to propel themselves up nine feet of elevation against the flow of water. So by putting in a board every one foot, it helps the process. So that's what they have to have a little bit of a pool so they can get enough jump. And that's what that's what they're making right here. It's the latest step in a restoration project stretching back years, involving construction on multiple dams, rivers, and the Penticton Channel. Sockeye run in four-year cycles, and this year, numbers may be a little low. This is uh, the returning year from 20, 2015. That's when they had massive uh, fish kills down in the Columbia. Pretty much uh, almost a population crash. So we're expecting probably about 30,000, which is slightly lower than uh, last year. The new fish ladder will be tested out in the coming weeks when the sockeye arrive. Right now, because this is an experiment for this year, we're capped at 100. Uh, there's a, you see there's a net over there and we'll have like a net pen, so we'll actually limit, limit it to a maximum of 100. Uh, and then we'll put some tags in and then put them up over the dam and see see where they end up. It won't affect management of the dam's water flow. No, the flows that go through the fish ladder are fairly negligible compared to what is actually going through the gates so that it's not a, a, a problem to make whatever little tweaks or changes we need. Chelsea Powery, Castanet News, Penticton. Thank you.